says, this is my first original to share for feedback. I recorded it here at my home studio, Mystic Lady Productions. Most of my original material that I'm currently working on was written de decades ago, but never properly produced a mix. I produced this one dance party and performed and recorded all the tracks. Amazing. It's musically and lyrically very upbeat and rather throwback to the 80s, but that's my style. It's not streaming yet as I continue to produce more tunes and learn the proper methods of being as successful as, pos as possible on Spotify and other streaming platforms. Uh, Andy got stuck in there. Thank you, Andy, for helping out. Um, so did Scott Peets. So did Christoph Stoll, Dave Crew, John Sammers, Wow, amazing. Russell as well. Thank you, Russell. Fantastic. And I apologize for not looking at everybody else's comments on the previous tracks. So I know you all get in there and help each other out. It's what makes this place so unique. All right, here we go. Stevie O's Dance Party. I feel exactly the same about this as I do with Alexi. Do you, do you, do you know what I mean? It, it is so authentic 80s um, that for a TV show that has like an 80s, 
It just feels like American 80s rock to me. Um, yeah. It's really, really good. Uh, Chris says, I was about to ride my bike to impress Laurie Laughlin. Uh, need a, a drum stinger at the end. 80s is so right now. It, it really is. It's superb. I love those guitar parts, like the little narrow yes era. Uh, yep, yeah, 90125. Yeah. Victor says, wait, wasn't it an 80s cover? Yeah, exactly. It superb. We should have a we should do an 80s um we should do an 80s uh retro album. Um who are all the writers on this? So Alexa, you wrote hundred percent on your own. Stevie O, did you write this hundred percent on your own? Are you, okay, we need to talk to uh, a publishing company about this stuff. All right. Can you put this on our list of the ten thousand things that we need to do? Oh. You know what I'm talking talking about when we were at the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is really authentic 80s stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, Sheila's saying 80s Feedback Friday. Uh, Chris, I love this. He goes, this evening just makes me feel old in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. An 80s, 80s retro album. Hmm. I don't have any comments on this. There's a few moments it's a little flammy. Do you hear it there? Plup, plup. Can you figure out where the flamminess is coming between the hits and something? Sometimes it's perfect. The there. Yeah. The flamminess is there, but other times it sounds a little loose and a little bit. Yeah, maybe it's between the snare and the clap. Sometimes it feels perfect, and sometimes because it's high, middly, and bright, it just takes me out of the zone. Very, very slight. Very slight. I wouldn't want it to be too perfect, but yeah. Yeah, hair metal tracks could be in there too. It's This is really superb. Should we do that for next month? Should it be 80s retro month and anybody that's got tracks? We could just do an extra day on it so nobody feels shorted. I don't want anybody to feel like they're being ignored, but yeah, maybe we do 80s retro uh, thing. This is great. Victor says sometimes sounds like it needs uh, too much. Oh, there's too much DSing. So good. That whole outro that do 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 Love that ending. <laughs> it reminds me of like uh, Boogie Nights, the movie when they're when they're doing like you know what I mean. They're doing their eighties track, and and just the the dress. They're all like the way they're all dressed in like that. Uh, like leather and the headbands and all this kind of stuff. Ah, oh. and that show glow. Really good. 
Really, really good. Steve, Stevie O, um, love it. Absolutely love it. Wow. I mean, if we could get multi-tracks to mix, this would be so much fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, everybody's loving it. John says, was well, adds to the greatness of the lyrics. Great choices. Um, Bruce, uh, Bruce and Bon Jovi hit up the McCartney show at MetLife Stadium last year. Yeah. God bless it. Great production. Hats off, gentlemen. I grew up with Yes, Boston and Journey. I can tell, Stevie. And you did an amazing job. All right. Talking of Arthur Labus, you're up next. And uh, and then it's going to be Eric with the joke of the day. The joke of the week. 